Uh, this is another video um, and today I just wanted to uh, show you something that I um, learned today with uh, CSS uh, and you could use it um, in like if you go like a WordPress theme say for instance you have a page where your, your WordPress uh, theme has a container width of 500 and it looks something like this and then you want to um, what you want to do basically is um, have a section that expands outside of this 500 width container. So as you can see here, this uh, design here falls, uh, uh, spans full width. Okay, and I've done that using Elementor. So let me um, let me show you how to do that. So I'm going to jump in and create a new Elementor section. I want to call this full width section. Okay, I'm going to edit with Elementor. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here and click on settings and change the, the page layout to full width. Once I've done that, I can now add in a template. So I'll select this template like I did before. And um, it's just going to load up and then we have our full width template. But I don't need all these sections. I'll delete the ones that I don't, I don't need. So these sections I don't need. Um, I think this section here, um, no, which one is it? It's this section I don't need as well. And I'll keep the, the map section. And then I'll just publish this. And I'm going to go back now, back to the Elementor templates. And if I refresh the page, you can see there's a full width section that I created. So this is the short code. I can copy that. Um, by the way, I'm using the um, global templates um, Elementor plugin, but if you have Elementor Pro, you should have access to this um, short code. You can copy it, um, but it will just be under the templates section. So there'll be a short code here. But now that I've copied this uh, section here, I'm going to go to pages and create a new page. If I click, click add new, I'll call this full width. And then what I'll do is um, just create um, an image and I'll upload an image. Let's use this one. And I'm going to create a short code section, paste the section in. Okay. And uh, let's get some law and some text. So let's just copy this text here. I'm going to add it above. Um, actually, just add it here. We'll add some paragraph text, paste that in there, and move that up. Okay, so now we have um, text, an image, and our short code. So this is a short code that we want to um, make full width. That's basically the elemental design. So I'll preview the page. And you can see that we have our text, our image, but look, the de element of design is forced into this 500 width container. And an easy way to make this full width is to use CSS. So if you look here, we have the CSS here, margin left, margin right, and it has this calc CSS function. Okay, so let's just copy this. And what we can do, um, First of all, uh, before we paste it anywhere, first of all, we need to see what CSS class this element of section is using. So if I right click here, click inspect element, it's going to open up the dev developer tools. Okay, so don't be worried about what this is. But if we move our mouse up to um, where you have this div data elemental type, okay, and click here, you can see that there's a class attribute. And our class is called Elementor-151. Okay, so that's how we target this section. So if I go to um, CSS, I have this plugin called Custom CSS and JS. Okay, and it allows you to add CSS files. So I call this full width section. I'll, I'm going to delete all this code in here and just paste in the code that I copied from. CSS tricks. Okay, um, let me go back 
the CSS here. And remember, I think the Elementor class was called um, Elementor-151, yeah? So that's the section that we're targeting. And we also need to add some more um, options like width, 100%, and we need to add important. And then the same thing with, with max width, we need to make sure it's 100%. And set it to important. So this just basically makes um, forces the width of the elemental um, section. So I can publish this. And then if I go back to my page and refresh, I can close this here. And you can see now it's forced the section to be full width. So that's basically an easy way. Um, to sort of use a theme, but also add custom elemental elements um, using the Elementor plugin, um, the Global Templates Elementor plugin, um, which gives you access to the shortcodes, as well as the CSS and JavaScript plugin. All right, thank you very, very much for watching. If you enjoyed uh, that video, do subscribe and um, catch you in the next one.